So, one's very knee bendy, squatty on the right, and one's a lot taller in the legs and a bit more tilt there in the spine. Yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you can see a bit. Yes. I mean that there's again. We can sort of draw a line through your legs there, kind of there. Whereas this one now is kind of more mm -hmm. in that position. So a much more athletic position. You're able to move more effectively, which is the thing we're looking at in the swing. And again, being more tilted over the ball there, we can reach the ground, okay? Potentially, we could have a smidgen more, but I think at the moment now, it feels probably quite extreme anyway. That spine angle there, what we're looking for, well, to be fair, roughly sort of 90 degrees. You're not far away in fairness, to be fair. Now, as we said, when you were hitting the, the ball before, you'd either hit the ground behind the golf ball or miss the ground completely. Mm. Because, which is the worst one, okay? If I hit the ground early in the winter, I'm gonna hit the ground heavy and the ball goes nowhere. So I'll probably play thin shots in the winter. Yeah. Then come the summer when the ground gets a bit firmer, okay, hit the ground around the ball is probably not a bad thing. The club might bounce to the golf ball. Mm. If I do it too much though, with a shallow head, three wood and stuff, then the top shots start yeah. coming in. So the feeling for you now, as I said, is moving yourself to target, getting your body to move more effectively as you go through. Takeaway in the most cases is pretty good, okay? At the top of the back swing here now, nothing's really changing there now, in a decent spot there now. It's now movement to the left. So now, although we can't see you from this position moving left, I just want to show you the finished position compared to each other. So look at that right foot. Hmm. That left hand when you've kind of moved a little bit, haven't you? I mean, that there is very sort of telling as to... That one there. I mean, you just haven't moved off your right foot at all because if you were to do that with your right foot on this right hand one, you'd fall over. So your brain just wouldn't let you do it. So the right, the weight is hanging back, and again, this left, the right hand one, your club gets to about there. It doesn't you get above your head? Look where your hands are on the left hand one. Mm. No head down, no hanging back, no top, no thin, and able to move the body more effectively. And again. No worries about missing the ground or missing the ball or topping it or any of the things that you were sort of struggling with because of trying to keep your head down and try and stay with the shot too mm -hmm. long, okay? And I think that would be sort of the freedom you probably see with a tennis swing with your right hand rare right above your head there. You would sort of stop here and get very restrictive. So I think overall, we kind of summarise, okay, setup-wise, taller in the legs yeah. and more tilt. So we're getting ourselves over the ball in a position so you can reach the ground. Once you can reach the ground from a better position, okay, with the knees being a little bit less flexed, now we can shift our body and move to the left mm -hmm. more effectively. And I would encourage you, if you can, again, even for sort of a couple minutes a day, just put a golf club down there. So go into your sort of setup position there now at a dress. I'll just draw so you put a little stick inside your right foot there. It's always going to be behind the golf ball. Mm -hmm. Again, something you don't mind hitting because <laughs> <of> the <laughs> odd occasion you may dink it a little bit. Nothing too thick, nothing more than the, the, the golf club shaft. Okay, so a bit of bam yeah, exactly. I'm sure you've got some stuff in the garden. You can pick up some doweling from sort of a hardware store, for a picky piece sort of thing. So just something inside your right foot there. Mm. And to start with, say, okay, right, I'm going to make 10 swings in a row, very small swings, maybe only going back to kind of here and then through the golf ball. Okay, so very small swings to start with, okay? Just striking the ground, but after. Mm. The piece of wood or the downing behind your right foot. When you feel you can do 10 comfortably, go a bit longer mm. and then go a bit longer again. And that's just going to be purely a feel thing. Now, the thing is, on this right hand one here now, you'd struggle to make that move because you couldn't move to your left. So, what you'd end up doing is either hitting the ground way behind and hitting the bamboo shoe or the stick or missing the ground completely. Mm -hmm. So, it's either fat or thin. So, we want to hit the ground. Hitting the ground is good. This is for all shots, okay? Chipping, pitching. Bunker shots, especially not so much driving with the club still, once you're sort of brushing the ground a little bit, okay? But every shot off the ground, fairway shots, second shots, third shots, four, whatever club in the bag, you want to be striking the ground with some kind of slightly downward angle, mm -hmm. okay? If we're leaning back or keeping our head down and swinging up, you're just basically tops doing a lot of shots. So you either top them on the ground, the ball's sat in a nice fluffy line on the grass, you might get away with it a little bit, you might get up in the air nicely. And that's like some of the problems that people have is they almost... The only way they can score well is when the ball sits up in the rough nicely. Mm. <laughs> the ball sat up on a bit of grass, so you can leave the ball a bit, you can stay back a little bit. It's almost like playing a ball up a tee peg. Yeah. So it kind of helps a little bit, yeah? But it's not really encouraging them the move we want to try and make. So, mm -hmm. so taller legs, more tilt, and then you move your hips to change the low point. And next time you hit the ground behind the ball, which you will do, mm. <laughs> we all do it, okay? You've got to really sort of almost concentrate 100 like, okay right it's not because of i lifted my head or i did this or i did that hitting the ground was good it wasn't hitting the ground it was where the ground was hit 
how can I move that strike point, that low point, we can move lift. And in some ways, it'd be quite a good practice for feel sort of awareness is deliberately at the ground back here, over there. Just try the different spots on the ground by just moving yourself side to side and think, oh, if I do this, I do this, I can move that. And you become more aware of where the club is mm -hmm. rather than just like, let's look at the ground, look at the ball, don't look at target, grip too tight, panic, swing too hard and <laughs> all go <laughs> downhill. Okay? okay? Does that kind of make some sense? Yeah, so I'd work on that. And the same principle for the longer clubs. Yeah, you won't be quite so much tilted because the club's going to be a little bit longer. Yes. For the shorter clubs, you will be a little bit more tilted because the club will be a little bit shorter. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if you want to do some practice at home, feel free to sort of take a video or a photograph of your setup so we can see how it's looking, if it's good or bad or whatever it needs to be. And then we can keep checking on that and see how we're going from mm -hmm. there. Okay? Okay. Good stuff.